Acorns Children's Hospital. The money raised by Ed Baker will help the local charity care for children with life-limiting conditions and their families. Uh, Ed is on his way to the line uh, this morning, uh, and he's uh, ready for the marathon. Good morning to you, Ed. Good morning, Richard. Um, this is always a major event on the calendar, but this year a little bit more poignant, isn't it, after the events of, of Boston on Monday? Yes, it's, it's, um, it's important that we show that we, I mean, we're not put off by things like that, although having the recent events in Boston have made it that uh, it's unlikely to affect London at all, um, because they've now caught and, and apprehended those who are responsible. Sorry if there's any noise, I'm, I'm standing on a railway station at Felton at the moment. Yes, I was, I was aware of that, that you, you're just making sort of your final journey on to, to get to the start line. Have, have you done marathons before? I've not done London. I, I did the, the wonderful Wolverhampton Marathon in 2008, um, but uh, this is slightly different. Uh, it, it, I, went and, I went and registered yesterday, and even that was um, quite an experience at, at the Excel Centre. Thousands of people all over the place. Because for all that there are thousands and thousands of runners, it isn't easy to get on it, is it, the, the London Marathon? No, not at all. Um, I mean, I was quite lucky um, in that Acorns gave me what's called a gold bond place. Um, but to do that, I have to raise two and a half thousand for acorns. Um, the train's just arriving, but I'm going to get on it. Okay. Um, and uh, you also enter the ballot, and hundreds of thousands every year go to the ballot, and only a few thousand get on it. Um, and I didn't get a ballot place, but I'd already got the gold bond place from acorns, so I was quite lucky. And, and why acorns? Why have you chosen them as your charity? Okay, I chose acorns because... For several reasons. One, because it's a, a charity supported by local Freemasons, of which I'm a very proud member. Um, and also because uh, in 1989, uh, my wife and I at the time had a little daughter called Heather who died after three weeks. And uh, there were no children's hospices at the time. There was nothing that we could do apart from go from one hospital to another and home to hospital until she died. Um, and now there are them. I want to keep them going. And 80% of the funding has to come from individuals like me and others who raise money for them. So they offer the sort of care that you really do wish was available at that time in a very difficult time in your life? Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, we had fantastic care and loving and caring supporters, but there was, there was nowhere to go. And, and in actual fact, we actually took Heather away on holiday um, because there was, we didn't want her to die in our flat. So we took her away on holiday and she, she died on holiday in Wilton. Gosh. Um, an, inter an interesting experience, but one we... Um, valued at the time. And how did you get through that? How did you find the strength? Um, that's a very interesting question. Uh, time, I think, is, the, is the, the important thing. I was I was only talking yesterday and saying that you know, actually now all my memories of that period are happy ones. Mm. You know, we, we, we were lucky enough, in a sense, to know that she was going to die. So we were able to provide ourselves with lots and lots of video memories, pictures, going places, doing things that you wouldn't normally do if you, if you were unlucky enough to lose a child without knowing it was going to happen. Um, so, uh, well, yes, it was it was a, a traumatic time that, that, you know, we managed to pull through and draw strength from lots of places, you know, faith and um, family and supporters and friends. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned faith there. That was an important part of it for you, was it? At the time, yes, it was um, It was difficult, but it, 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 it all helps. Um it turns into anger initially, very, mm. very, ang very angry initially, but um, we pulled through in the end. But all these years on, I mean, very much in Heather's memory as well, you're, you're running for a, a cause that means an awful lot to you. Um, we hope that you have a really successful day and, and I hope you manage to take in some of the sights and the sounds as you go in round London. I'll do my best. I know the Acorns team are going to be on um, Tower Bridge uh, cheering us on after about 12 and a half miles, which which will be a welcome sight. Yeah, it will be. It will be. And, and I know there's, a, there's an awful lot of um, uh, my uh, Freemasonry friends who are going to be standing around and cheering and watching and recording and doing all sorts of strange things as well. Yeah, I mean, all those things are certainly going to help you. And in terms of the fundraising, are you, are you going to make you, the, the money that you need? Um, well, I had to make 2500 uh, which I did some time ago. So I revised my target. Um, to 3,000, uh, and I'm currently revising that again to somewhere around four because we're on about 3,800 at the moment. Brilliant. Uh, and the, and the, about 60 or 70% of that 
has come from um, indiv- either family, friends and individuals, but a lot of it's come from me going around local Worcestershire lodges talking about this and asking them to give their, their monthly meetings charity collection to this cause. And they've, they've done that in a sterling way, really. I would say 60 to 70 percent has come from um, the local Worcestershire Freemasons, which is not unusual. I mean, we, we give... Um, I mentioned on Friday on, on, a, on a show that uh, there's, a, there's a charity called the Freemasons Grand Charity, and that gives grants to lots of organisations, millions of pounds every year. And since 1984, it's given 10 million pounds to the children, well, to the hospice movement. Um, and in the last year, it gave 600,000 pounds to 239, 240 hospices. Brilliant. Um, it gives, you know, we, there's, there's an awful lot of press, good and bad, about Freemasonry. But what a lot of people don't realise is that. It's ordinary, normal people like me that just want to do good things and collect money and help people um, and have a bit of fun at the same time. Well, you're Uh, certainly doing a good thing today, Ed. We really congratulate you on the money you've raised. It's absolutely superb. Uh, And we wish you a very safe trip around London today. And thanks so much for joining us this morning. Richard, thank you very much. Have a good day. Uh, Ed Baker from uh, Solihull Hill there uh, is raising up to what £4,000 for Acorns Children's Hospice uh, spurred on by the memory of his daughter who he lost uh, at the age of three weeks uh, just over 20 years ago.